What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. Now, our first story is coming from Joey Salatz. He's a complete fucking idiot. Actually, you know what? We'll get to that in the end. Let's start off with Forbes. Uh, Forbes Games talking shit on the Call of Dudes. They tweeted out, With Infinite Warfare, it's hard to avoid the narrative that Call of Duty is starting to feel pretty dull. I can tell you what's not dull. Battlefield 1. Trust me. Amazing. Check it out. I got it. It's great. Fucking love it. Also in the news, uh, YouTube is fucking up with these goddamn plaques. I still don't have my million sub plaque. I don't, why do they fuck up with this shit? Anyhow, today they sent the I Crazy Teddy million sub plaque to some guy named Robin Hood Gamer. And you probably guessed it. I Crazy Teddy got the Robin Hood Gamer million sub plaque. Just why? Why? YouTube is worth billions of fucking dollars. Why can't you send people the right plaque? It makes no fucking sense. Also in the news, apparently YouTubers' toothbrushes are worth money. Phase K tweeted out this. My toothbrush somehow made its way to eBay. I could just picture some kid digging through Phase K's garbage. Jackpot! Also in the news, uh, yesterday we did an interview with Zoe Berger. I don't know if you've seen it or not. Well, apparently she was talking shit about rice gum because today she tweeted out this. I really didn't think rice gum would be this shook from all my shit talking. Apparently rice gum blocked her. And then Zoe Berger followed up with, uh, well, tweeting fucking nudes. She tweeted out, about to hit 700k, getting close, showing a picture of her naked in a tanning bed. And now for a final story, all right? This is just, uh, this has pissed off a lot of people, including myself. Joey fucking piss in your mouth salads uploaded a video titled, Trump car destroyed in black neighborhood social experiment. Now at the beginning of the video, he parks a car in a black neighborhood and puts Trump stickers all over it. And he starts off the video by saying, huh, let's see what happens. Then apparently 30 minutes later, black thugs come up and start smashing up the car, breaking it. Then Joey, AKA piss in your mouth salads, uh, ends the video by saying, look, Black people are very violent towards Trump and Trump supporters. Well, guess what? It's fake. Somebody in a near apartment recorded the whole thing going down. You see those uh, people there? Those are the black thugs. They were in on it, paid actors. And this whole social experiment was fake. Now, why is this such a big issue? Well, it's because Joey Salads made black people look like fucking crazy animals. Oh, a Trump sticker in a car. Let's go smash the car. Let's go vandalize it. He presented this on YouTube like it was reality. He made society look incredibly horrible. And it wasn't even real. Now, over the last 48 hours, a lot of people have been calling Joey Salatz out. And Joey Salatz responded by uploading a video titled, Exposed Trump Car Video Response. And within the video, he says, Hey, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out the video. Then he says that he's sorry that he got caught. No, no, he literally says this. And then he goes on to say that he's gonna make up for it by committing voter fraud. Like he, he's gonna make up for this mistake of his by going and voting as registered dead people. That's a fucking felony. That, that, that's a fucking felony. Up to five years. Like, they, th is this motherfucker stupid? So obviously civil rights groups are pretty pissed off at Joey Salads making black people look horrible. Uh, and uh, well, they've been expressing their anger at Joey Salads. Today, he tweeted out this. To the Black Lives Matter community who are threatening my life for making black people look bad, you are making black people look bad. What a fucking idiot. They have every right to be angry at you, Joey, you fucking moron. But but not only that, today he uploaded another video titled Response to the Hate Trump Car Video. And in this video, I shit you not, he says that he's not going to take down the video, the original video, because he doesn't want other people to get the fucking ad revenue. This motherfucker literally admitted to like making a racist, hate video on YouTube for money. And he's not gonna take it down because he doesn't want to lose the money. 
He fucking admits it. Guys, we did a whole beta podcast today talking about Joey Sellets and a few other issues. Um, that should be out later tonight. So look out for that new beta podcast. Also, uh, if you guys want to be Keemstar for Halloween, a lot of you have been asking me uh, to put together a costume or whatever. We did that. That is in the description through G Fuel. Check that out. And guys, the final presidential debate is going on tonight, and I'm actually going to be live streaming this. So I'm really excited to see what happens in this last debate. So if you guys want to watch the, uh, the final debate, Hillary versus Trump with me, the link to the live stream is in the description. As soon as this video goes out, we will be live uh, prior and during the debate. So we hope to see you there. Kick it with us on the live stream. That's it for the news today. Fuck Joey Salads. Joey Salads, you're a fucking racist. I mean, his video is basically hate speech, all right? What is the fucking difference, okay, between someone saying black people are all violent, horrible criminals and what Joey Salads did? There's no difference. He basically said that by putting together this fake skit and trying to pass it off as reality. It's the same thing. His video is fucking hate speech and it should be taken down. That That's, that's my final word on it ladies and gentlemen that's it for the news today guys if you love drum alert make sure you slap a like on it drum alert nation now over 1,640,000 subscribers